Okay, so uh, the app is designed for 13 to 26 year olds in Scotland at the moment to actively engage with the wider arts. So I've been working alongside high arts organisations such as opera, um, ballet, visual arts and so on to engage with their under 26 initiatives that they currently have. So if they've got ticket discounts and so on, then they're able to promote these through this app. So it allows young people to be able to engage more th with their phones, to engage with an app, with events and so on directly through. Um, it allows arts organisations to subscribe to the app and promote whichever events they wish to do so through the app. And uh, then young people can download the app for free initially when that's been finalised. And it means that they can then have a personalised homepage, which I'll show you in a second, which they can choose preferences which they wish to set, so they might have an interest in dance or theatre, and then they use that for their homepage, and it's all personalised for them as a user. An integral part of the app is the community aspect, and what I've done with that is I've allowed arts organisations to create their own community, their own homepage within the app, which they can showcase what they do to get a bit more information about them, and then those young people who wish to connect with that community are then able to uh, get further information and further opportunities through connecting with that community. Um, community is so important within this app because it allows young people to network with other like-minded people. So if they have a barrier to engagement in that their friends don't like the same things as they do, they can network it with other people within the app with the shared interests, almost like Twitter, so they can follow each other, which you will see through the video demonstration I'll show you in a moment. So that's what's so very important within this app design. Um, there's lots of events available at the touch of a button, so there might be things that you see on the screen like dance shows, um, operas, arts exhibitions, and it allows young people to really explore things. However, it's not limited just to what's on their homepage. They can also look at the search function, which is preferences they didn't choose, which they can then uh, access and look at that. A really unique part of the app design is the wildcard idea. Um, I've worked with a focus group of young people who suggested this to me and that they can then um, access events that are maybe a little bit without with their interests. So if their homepage is only presenting things that they're currently interested in, why not have a wildcard feature which promotes something that they haven't clicked onto, they haven't um, investigated any further, to show them what else that they could access. So that's a really unique part of this app design which has been really useful for young people. Um, an add-on part of the app, which doesn't form the main focus, but is something which I added as an extra incentive, is that young people can work through the loyalty scheme. So they collect points for each event that they go to, which they can exchange off discounts, off further tickets at venues and arts organisations, and they can also, hopefully we're looking at discounts at coffee shops as well, and that is to keep with that community aspect and bringing people together and going to coffee shops and discussing things either before or after the shows. So what I'd like to do now is show the, the video to you. because It gives you an overview of what the app design does um, and gives you sort of a live demonstration of the design.
Okay, so the idea from the design came from a really strong passion into engaging young people in the arts. Um, as a classically trained musician myself, I was never given the opportunity to do anything like this and design, um, sorry, to engage with wider arts and so on. And being a teacher and from engaging with young people through my studies and with technology having developed as far as it has now, it seemed like the time is now to be able to allow young people to engage with um, something like this at the touch of a button. They've got so much information that they can engage with. So that's where my idea came from. So looking ahead, um, I'm looking towards full build now. I've been working closely with a range of national arts organisations across Scotland. Um, I've had contacts around the world that have recently asked me about the design. Um, I'm also working alongside the University of Aberdeen who've asked me to be part of their um, enterprise hub, which means that I've got to work with their business advisor and it helps me to develop my business as I go on into full build. Um, I'm also uh, looking at how else this could be used because as well as having it for high-end arts organisations at the moment, there is the opportunity of taking the architecture of this app and applying it to other things. The focus group I've worked with over the summer have suggested to me why can't the template be used and for a local, um, a, like local artists and unsigned artists and could look at other things like local community fest festivals, sorry, so which means that young people can then further engage across other parts of the app. So whether that eventually looks like um, a various apps that all interconnect or we do that through the one app, that's how we're looking at next steps really. So thank you for listening and if you would like any further information on the design, um, you can go, there's the QR code there, you can go to Organic Assembly on Facebook and there's also my Twitter handle there. So, and if you'd like to discuss anything with me afterwards, I'll be around to discuss any ideas and any potential collaborations. Thank you. Thank <laughs> you.